This is your boy DIY Low Budget Car Repair. I said I was gonna leave this for another day, but uh, I did some uh, research and stuff, and I found out that this one right here would be the one to kick in my V Tech solenoid. Because remember, on the other video, my other P28 uh, V Tech that uh, turned into uh, they turned a P2851 into an manual P. So, anyways, I got the PO6. It's manual. It's chipped, it's v ticked so I should be good to go. Now I'm going to be getting on to the next steps, and let's see how long that's going to take me. I'm not going to guarantee any, you know, anything soon, but I'm going to try to get it done as fast as I can. It's already a done deal. Okay, guys? Already. Catch you on the next video. It's very simple, you know, just desolder. And solder this one back in, and plenty of videos on soldering and desoldering out there, so that's all you need. V tick right here. The first one, there's one, two, three, four. Just you just put this one on. And you get the chip, the tune. All I gotta do is get these uh, uh I keep forgetting the name on this man. They, they it's it's called something, but anyways. I should be fine because it's already pre tuned at eleven PSI, so just to start. Then we'll you know do the rest. But there it is guys. So all said and done. It took me actually quicker to get this in here than doing all this other stuff. Once I got used to soldering and desoldering here, then this was like a piece of cake. Alright? Okay guys, catch you in the next video.